most important reason why people fail in lawn care is because they thought what's up this is Vic from Quick Cuts Premium Lawn Care here in Conyers Georgia just want to come to you shortly to share my opinions on why I believe certain lawn care business fails. So one of the reasons why I believe lawn care business fail is because of poor planning. A lot of times we get out and we believe that all we have to do is just get a lawnmower weedier than blower. And then all of a sudden um, the money will be rolling in, but it's more to it than that. You definitely have to plan um, in order to make money. And one of the things you need to plan for is the expenses that will occur in order to market your um your business also you need to plan for is your goal like what is your goal what is your long-term short-term goal like for me my goal was just to help a friend and a brother um just to make some money then somehow i rolled that into um actually starting a business in lawn care and then that that plan changed to actually trying to establish a certain number of clients so this is what i believe that most people who come in not really having a plan of action of what they want to do it fails because if you don't know what you're doing you know along the way you'll just just quit another reason why a business fail is because we really don't understand marketing um, a lot of times we understand work as um, as we most of us do going out pulling the lawnmower out putting it on the grass cutting the grass charging the client but we don't understand marketing and that's really important. I'm still trying to get to understand marketing because the person who makes the most money is the person who know why the ditch is being dug and not the person who's digging the ditch. Uh, basically, yes, it's hard work, but you got to understand the marketing aspect of it. And a lot of times people don't know it. So they'll wind up quitting um, on this and they say they can't make any money because they're not getting enough clients. So this is one of the things that I know that happens to a lot of people because they keep asking me, well, Vic, how do you get your clients? And I try to express it to them that I do spend money on marketing. So that's what I believe that helps my business to stay functional. And then I can say no to clients that I really don't want to service. So that's another one. Another reason why I believe that um, people fail in lawn care is because they don't know their favorable customer. Basically, long story short, you don't know which customer that you really want. You're taking jobs that truly shouldn't be taken. They may be too big and, or you taking those big jobs and really not making enough money. And then you say to yourself, man, this ain't worth my time or energy. I'm just wasting my time. I'm wasting my energy. So I tell everyone who's coming into this, man, best thing to do is take the smaller yards because there's more money in the smaller yards. Um, and it's because we have people coming in and they think the only way they can make it is to lowball themselves. And I'm telling you, if you don't understand what's the best customer for you and your equipment, you're going to find yourself quitting because I have just realized that I'm not taking these big yards anymore that I know that it's going to spend a lot of time and I can't give the prices the way I want. Just so you know, no one wants to, um, pay two hundred dollars for an acre or yard i know people out there they will cut it for a decent price but for me i can wind up getting four yards at fifty dollars for an acre and that equals out to two hundred dollars and guess what people are not going to let you cut their acre for two hundred dollars so they would not be my favorable customer so now what i'm doing i'm letting them know sorry um at this time, we're not serving properties your size. That's what I have to say, and it's hard to say no to the money, but you got to, man, because what happens is, if I'm sitting here and my guys go out there, and sometimes, man, those those houses with acres, you don't know where their property lines are. They be zigzagging all through certain areas, and you're like, oh, I, I gotta cut that too? Well, that's not the price, and you know how that can get into. So I'm looking for favorable yards where I know the markers. It's pretty much a cut and dry, cook and cutter type of um, neighborhood. So that's mine. What's yours? Please tell me what's your uh, cook and cutter. It could be you love acres because that's where you are. 
So just know who your favorable clients are. And the favorable ones are the ones that will pay what their yard is worth. And you know it all day, every day, because you're getting it all day, every day. I said this in uh, another reason, but man, people quit lawn care because they don't know their prices. They don't know it. So they go out and cut these yards. They think 50 is the magic number for everything. 50 is not the magic number for everything. Find out how much a yard like that is worth. Now, I know you're not going to be able to call people and they're not going to give you their special sauce, but make a special sauce for yourself. Know how much money you want to charge per hour. And if you know that you're only going to be in that yard, you know, half that time, then charge that half. I mean, you have to look at it from that perspective. Now, if you're thinking that you're going to lowball yourself to get a better deal or get more clients, you're not Walmart. Let me tell you right now, you're not Walmart, especially if you're just getting started and volume is not going to help you. What's really going to help you is understanding your number, what you need to get paid, and what the industry is charging for that property. Because sometimes, man, you may be thinking you're going to take that yard away from um, that other client by lowballing, but really you're just taking a headache. And believe me, you don't want to be out in your yard cutting for a long period of time um, for 50 bucks. I had a yard, man, I kid you not, it started out, it was a $65 yard, they put a fence up. Then it went to a $75 yard. Then um, they was getting it treated and it was growing crazy high. Then I had to charge them again. I really wanted to walk away from the yard, but I, I think about you know someone giving me a one star. So I increased the price on them. I said, hey, look, this is what the price is. They said, yes, no problem. Then next thing you know, um, two weeks later, someone said, you know, they called me and said, hey, you know what? I got somebody to do it for 55. I'm like, great, they can take it off my hands. I didn't say it to the client, but that's what I was feeling because the work that I've done myself on these properties that I know that is a little bit bigger than, um, now I would say a lot bigger than my $50 yard, about twice as big. I don't make twice the money. So you have to know your prices. I cannot stress this enough. Um, this is gonna be the reason why you quit lawn care because you're gonna say, you're not making enough money. And the truth of the matter is, you're not charging enough. So another reason why I believe that um, lawn care business fail is because of people poor attitude. If you hate something, why are you doing it? You know, it doesn't make sense why you're going to do something that you truly hate. You should focus in on what's good about lawn care versus what you hate about it. I know. I hate that it's hot all the time outside, man. I hate the 100 degree weather, man. I hate that that lady doesn't pay on time, man. And you know, I hate this yard. This yard got a crazy slope. Now, if you go into it like that, you, you're not gonna be in lawn care very long. And most of your problem is you. Number one reason is you hate a yard nine times a 10. Once again, it goes back to you didn't price it right. You hate a client because you didn't find your niche customer. You hate um, how hot it is, I can't fix that one for you. But I can say this, if it was cool, everyone else would be cutting their own lawn. That's how you gotta look at it. You gotta flip those um, negative attitudes, flip it around and have positive ones. The reason why you're cutting grass is because other people don't want to do it and it can be very lucrative if you figure the formula that works for you. And the last, but I think most important reason why people fail in lawn care is because they thought they was going to make a lot of money real quick. Let me help all the newbies out. This is not a get quick scheme. No, this is a, I got to work my tail off and I got to do things um, that the homeowner doesn't want to do. Figure out the things that you would do and then figure out how much you would charge someone to do those things. But if to say that you're going to make millions, of, well, I wouldn't even say millions. Let's just say 100K this year. You know, people are making that money. I know it. But let's be honest with ourselves. You are putting in that work and that work is very, very tough at times. So I would suggest that when it comes to you thinking about 
how you're going to um, make your money, realize that it's a long-term goal, meaning that this is something I can do to help me towards my retirement. This is something I can do to pay for a vacation. This is something I can do to use money for buying a new second car. You got to think on that line, man, because if you go in there thinking you about to ball out, become the uh, lawn care millionaire, nah, I don't think so. I'm not saying it can't happen. I want to stay positive, but I'm going to be positive about this. This takes some form of investment, a lot of effort, and it starts with this right here, making that plan. Please, at the end of the day, <laughs> you know we can't cut all this grass by ourselves. Man, I don't care how many trucks I see zooming back and forth down my area, they can't cut it all. Cause I got, I see a lot of grass that still need to be cut. And some of it, I wouldn't want to cut it. Maybe you do, you know? So please, you know, take a look at um, what I'm saying. It's a plenty enough work for all of us out here. Please find your niche. Also, what's your thoughts, man? Tell me what's your niche when it comes to your clientele. Tell me some of the reasons why you think some of the lawn care people fail in their business. Just give me one, you know, because at the end of the day, I'm not the person who know it all. I'm just sharing my thoughts. Hopefully you can share yours with me because sometimes, man, I, I learn from you guys coming, you know, so help a brother out. Also, like and subscribe to the channel. Greatly appreciate all those who have already subscribed. I greatly appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up, man, because uh, I would like other people to actually hear what I have to say because I think I got a pretty cool channel. Hey, check out the channel. It's other videos. Sometimes I get questions that I've already answered, and I try to answer it, but most of the times, if you ask a question I already answered, I'm going to refer you to a video like, hey, check my video gallery. I actually said that already. So, for those people who are inspiring to be lawn care uh, professionals, please view it as that. You're a professional. All those people who are out there inspiring to just be a grass hustler, hey man, do your thing. But you know what? At the end of the day, I can't cut all this grass by myself. Cut on lawn care family, cut on. I'm cutting out. Peace.